I'm Dr. Roger and today we're looking at differential equations. I have a second order linear non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients and I'm given initial values and my non-homogeneous function is presented as a piecewise function so the Laplace transform is the best way of solving this problem. However, I'm going to want to write h of t in terms of my unit step function, the heaviside function. h of t, if I graph it, looks like one pi two pi looks like that and that is u pi of t minus u two pi of t or you might write that as u of t minus pi minus u of t minus 2 pi, depending on what notation you use for the unit step function or the heavy side function. They're equivalent. I'm going to use the notation from the table of Laplace transforms that I'm using. Now transforming this differential equation, the transformation, the transform of y double prime is s squared uppercase y where I'm using uppercase y equals the transform of lowercase y. Minus s times 0 minus the negative 1 plus 2s uppercase y minus 0 plus 2 uppercase y. And now I need the transform of h of t. And in my table of Laplace transforms, that would be line 12. The transform of uc of t is e to the negative cs over s, so that is e to the negative pi s over s, and then minus e to the negative 2 pi s over s. I'll move the 1 to the right hand side and factor out the uppercase y from the remainder, s squared plus 2 s plus 2, uppercase y equals negative 1 plus e to the negative pi s over s minus e to the negative 2 pi s over s. I notice the y coefficient polynomial is the same as my characteristic polynomial, which means I haven't made any major careless errors. Solving for uppercase y, that is negative 1 over s squared plus 2s plus 2 plus e to the negative pi s times 1 over s s squared plus 2s plus 2, and then minus e to the negative 2 pi s over s, s squared plus 2s plus 2. Erasing this so I can use the space for partial fractions. I want to rewrite these two terms. Actually, let's move the e to the negative 2 pi s. Rewrite the whole thing. 1 over s, s squared plus 2 s plus 2. I found it's much safer to pull the e to the minus c s out of the numerator. And 1 over s s squared plus 2s plus 2 equals a over s plus bs plus c over s squared plus 2s plus 2. Multiplying both sides by the denominator, I get 1 on the left equals a times my quadratic s squared plus 2s plus 2 plus bs plus c times s. If I substitute in s equals 0, that gives me 1 equals 2a, so a equals 1 half. 
if I substitute in, well, let's just distribute it. 1 equals 1 half s squared plus 1 half times 2s is s, 1 half times 2 is 1, plus bs squared plus cs. The linear expression on the right, just cs plus s, equals the linear expression on the left, which is 0. So cs equals negative s, c equals negative 1 if I divide both sides by s. The quadratic expression on the left, which is 0, equals the quadratic on the right. 1 half s squared plus b s squared. Dividing by s squared, 0 equals 1 half plus b. Subtracting 1 half, negative 1 half equals b. So I have the partial fraction decomposition, where this fraction here, 1 over s, s squared plus 2s plus 2, equals 1 half 1 over s, and then plus b, s plus c is, let's take out the minus 1 half, and that would be bs, so times s, and then plus 4, because negative 1 half times s is negative 1 half, that matches b, negative 1 half times 4 is negative, oh, I need a negative 1, so s plus 2 over s squared plus 2s plus 2. So that's negative 1 half s minus 1, which does match our b and our c terms. And this doesn't quite match my table. So looking at the table, I see that the 1 over s is line 1. And s plus 2 over s squared plus 2, s plus 2 does not quite match my lines. So let's rewrite it as 1 half 1 over s and then minus 1 half, I want my denominator to be s plus 1 squared plus 1, and the numerator should be s plus 1, but I actually have an s plus 2, so then I have a minus 1 half, this is a remainder of 1, 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1. And now this matches the expression I'm trying to match. So uppercase y, the transform of my solution is negative 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1, when I complete the square on that denominator, and then plus e to the negative pi s times 1 half 1 over s minus 1 half s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1, and then minus 1 half 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1. And then I have minus e to the negative 2 pi s times the same expression. 1 half 1 over s minus 1 half s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1. And minus 1 half 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1. Going to my table of Laplace transforms, and you do want to work from the table as often as possible. This is line 9. So the inverse transform, my actual solution, is negative, the minus there, and it's e to the at sine bt, so it's e to the negative t sine t. And then plus, from line 13, u pi of t, or you may write u of t minus pi for the unit step function, and then 
times 1 half 1 over s gives us times 1 half, and then minus 1 half. This part here is line 10, and I want to say e to the negative t, but for line 13 when we have the uc of t, when we have the e to the negative cs and the uc of t, it's e to the negative t minus c is t minus pi, and then cosine b is 1, so it should be 1t, but it's 1t minus pi. And then this term, I'm going to erase this scratch work so I have room to write. This term becomes minus one half e to the a t is e to the a t minus c, so e to the negative t minus pi. And then sine b t is sine b is one, so just sine t minus pi. And then I have the same thing with a u two pi of t here. So minus u two pi of t times one half minus one half e to the negative t minus two pi this time because I have the e to the negative two pi s so f of t minus c, the c is two pi cosine t minus two pi minus one half e to the negative t minus two pi in parentheses sine t minus two pi And you'll have to decide for yourself based on your own preferences and your professor's expressed preferences whether you want to use trig identities to simplify the cosine t minus pi, sine t minus pi, and the same for t minus 2 pi in the trig functions. In many cases, it's easier or more clear, more intuitive to leave them as sine t minus 2 pi when you're multiplying by u2 pi of t. And this gives us the solution of a differential equation with a piecewise non-homogeneous term. Come back soon for my next video. With differential equations, there's always more.